Administration, the Secretary General. Clinton has said that. Well, look at how he launched the war, and Congress said, we'll give you authorization. He said, I have the U.N. That was but, treason. I have the U.N. authority. I don't need you, Congress. And they've been systematically both. You know, this has been going on. Even George W. Bush signing treaties, avian flu, were under the control of the U.N. This whole United Nations control, global control. Let's look at what happened in Europe. It said in Europe when the crisis was going on, New World Order would use it to take away the sovereignty of nations. Now Greece cannot even decide its own budget. The same thing is going to go on when a war occurs with Iran. The minute that war starts... You're going to have oil spike tremendously. And Obama is going to show up on the TV and pretend he's the great savior when the react, you know, the truth is Obama caused this war to happen. It's and, 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 and he'll release a little bit of the strategic oil supply yeah. and act like he's a savior. And what a joke that is. You know, the fact is Obama's lying left and right, saying, oh, look, we're getting more independence on foreign oil. Look at him on the NDAA. He said, uh, I'm against it. He demanded it. Then he said he wouldn't sign it. Then he st signed it. I, I know. And, you know, the whole deal here is we're using less oil. That's the only reason we have a higher percentage of oil that's been from U.S. production. In the meantime, we're shutting down coal plants. We won't do the pipeline. We don't have any drilling going off either shore. This administration is desperately intent on increasing the price of oil. Why do the big insiders, the crony capitalists that work with socialist extremists of every band, why do they want to destroy Europe and the United States? Well, first of all, they know they're going to be on the inside. So while the money is being stolen, uh, they're going to get their cut. Look at all the cylindras. I'm estimating there must have been at oh least gosh. $40 billion stolen out of the uh, seven, 878 billion dollar stimulus fund. That's a conservative estimate given to the supporters of Obama. Look at the eight billion a year Akron was getting. You don't think Breitbart made enemies cutting off that Precise. to all their all their city machines? Precisely. And by the way, Breitbart, we're preparing to offer some resources to the family to get some really top corners to look at this. You know, I'm oh, I'm good. investigating the entire month of his life. We don't know the entire month. Somebody can put the drugs the intelligence agencies and others have developed Breitbart could have been injected with something toxic a month ago that would cause a heart attack as if it were today. And it's metabolized out now, yeah. I don't want to look at just the last 24 hours. You know, I'm, I'm willing, I'm, I want to investigate more. But that's what the coroner says. He's doing a six to eight week. He says he's going to go deep. He thinks there could be something there. Well, I think there is something. There. I think that's what we got to find out. You know, I'm an investigative reporter. It's like I'm trained that if your mother says, she loves you. You better find another source. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Isn't it suspicious to you that they announced within two hours it was totally yeah. natural, just out of the blue, and that the media ran with that? Absolutely. You know, we're supposed to believe a 43-year-old, healthy 43-year-old, drops over. Uh, he's had heart problems and all these other. He's working too hard. Well, look, a lot of people at 43 years old have heart problems and work very hard, but don't keel over of catastrophic heart attacks. The day they're going to release footage that'll quote destroy the president. Precisely, you know. And again, uh, the, one of the meetings is we better watch our security. That was the discussion at Sheriff Arpaio's office immediately after Breitbart's death was announced. All right, I've got a report I'm going to get to on the state police and a new boondoggle they've got with gunboats. Uh, but, but stay there. I want to do a few more minutes with you to recap and, and, and any other points you want to make on where the economy is going and how to turn it around and what tricks you think Obama's going to play. Dr. Jerome Corsi is our guest. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons. All right, final segment. I will be taking a lot of calls tomorrow on the weekday show, but today we had a lot of news and information to cover. We got to most of it. The world is getting so crazy. Uh, we only got a few minutes left with Dr. Corsi. Bottom line, how do you see all this unfolding? What are some of the possible, probable, uh, in your uh, analysis, futures that we see here uh, with the economy, with all of it? I mean, will the globalist, will the crony capitalists who are waging war against all free societies and funding all sorts of radical groups, will they be successful in converting the Western world into a high-tech police state and, and uh, doing all of this? Uh, it's going to be a very desperate last battle here. They're going to run very fast to the finish line. I'd watch for the economy is going to continue to deteriorate. More and more people are going to have, lose their jobs, struggle with monthly payments. Uh, but yet the unemployment figures are going to be continually manipulated. You're going to see 
uh, either close to 8.5%, whatever they can maintain by increasing the number of people that the Bureau of Labor Statistics says are out of the labor pool. A lot of manipulation of data, a lot of lies about how the so-called recovery, there isn't any recovery. What there is is a deepening depression in the housing market. There's growing dependence on the government. And by the way, anybody who thinks that Obama is going to maintain their government dependence after he wins re-election is a fool. That's when the food stamp programs get cut. That's when Obama starts intervening to reduce unemployment benefits. This is a trap, a trap into dependency of the government. Well, that's, remember, with health care, they said they wouldn't do it, and now they admit death panels. Now they admit once things are socialized, they control it all and give all the extra money to the banker bailouts, not to the people. That's right. And, you know, here comes the... Um, we're going to be discussing Ayers at great length, both with the cold case policy, and I'm going to be writing about it more on uh, really WND. Really? Well, yeah, listen, as soon... You told me you're going to... When that article comes out, you said you're going to come here first. You promised. Yes. I promise, you got my word, you'll, we'll be here first at the Alex Jones Show. And look, Alex, Ayers, we've, you know, there are tapes out there with Ayers, the weather undergrounding, wanting to exterminate. 23 20 million people, arrest everybody, re-education camps. I've had communists on the street tell me they're going to get me and that they're going to do this. And look, after this, you think, if Obama wins again, you think there'll be a Jerome Corsi writing in WND or, no. a WND or an Alex Jones Show? They're going to clamp down. Cass the Sunstein admits at the White House they're going to shut down anybody that criticizes them. They've he says if you criticize electric cars, they'll shut you down. And I mean, no one's buying them when I'm not allowed to say that. They closed down the Volt. The Volt was a bad idea. That's a government car. Obama promoted that entirely. But look, the lies on the economy are going to continue and intensify. And people have got to look through to see the lies because it's going to be a rush to the finish to pretty up this new world order, until it collapses. And when it collapses, either right before or right after the election, there'll be a big rush for power, trying to get everybody into fear that they're going to lose all they own. When the goal, by the way, is to take everybody's private property away from them anyway. That's where the socialists are Exactly. They keep you in a trap of too big to fail. I'm going to have to get you back up just on the economic front. Dr. Corsi, thank you so much. And I'm going more into, into these e-books. I'm going to do one on oil as well. I've got two e-books out now, the one on question of eligibility on the Arpaio investigation and Saul Linsky, the evil genius behind Obama. Two e-books. I'm going to have a third, the great oil conspiracy, out in April. Amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Alex. All right, there goes Dr. Jerome Corsi. Speaking of plugs, because it is an information war, you should get his books and get them out to people because it's very accurate info. This is the last day. All 18 of my films and Jason Burmis' incredible film that I produced, Invisible Empire, A New World Order Defined, for $99.95, normally $380. That's 74% off. And it's, it's done. I won't offer it again until next Christmas. I've extended it. All of my films, Obama Deception, Fall of the Republic, Endgame, Terror Storm, Truth Rising, all four of the police state films, $99.95, 19 films, and a Citizen Rule Book, bumper stickers, and more. We've also got a new deal on business cards. InfoWars, you are the resistance business cards at cost. They're one penny a piece at InfoWars.com. 100 of them with a citizen rule book and bumper stickers. InfoWars.com. Check that out today. Now, I already talked about this some of the first hour. I'm long-winded. I ran out of time. Here is our report from Darren McBreen where he goes out to cover the gunboats that we first reported on three months ago. Now, DPS unveils new patrol boat. Uh, state troopers ready launch of gunboats. Yeah, we're going to play the full report here. And and this is incredible because when the guys went out there to interview them, they said, we're not talking to you. Those They had like three news cameras out there, other news agencies, YNN and others locally. And they said, you're not media. You say you're on 590, but you're not. And we're like, okay. Well, I mean, you, because when we called last time, they said, well, well what are you on? And then he goes, I know who Alex Jones is, but I'm not on the air. Again, so, so it's like this mind game where we're trying to report on the boats and how the drug war is all a fraud and how the bigger the drug war gets, the more drugs are on our streets and the troops are growing the opium in Afghanistan. And their response is this. So, so here is that report. 
Now we are here for the unveiling of yet another DPS patrol vessel. Now this is the second boat of what will eventually be a total of six 34-foot shallow water interceptors to patrol the Rio Grande River. As the Texas Highway Patrol goes on a wild spending spree, these hot rod boats cost approximately $600,000 each. And yes, that's taxpayer money to fight Look at those machine guns. small-time drug traffickers on the Texas rivers. They're buying these giant 690 something thousand dollar speedboats for lakes and rivers that have giant machine guns mounted all over them. And they didn't have the machine guns mounted three months ago when we first went out and talked to them at a lake. They didn't know who we were. We did a nice interview, put it on TV. I made my points about how they're, we're going bankrupt, but they're constantly militarizing our police. Darren McBreen and John Brown went out there politely and they were bowing up. They were saying, we're not going to talk to you, even though it was a press event that they called. They had state police standing right up in their space. And when they left, they had state police follow them out of the parking lot over by the lake. I mean, here's, here's my deal, man. I mean, you guys misrepresented yourself as with Kelby J. I called them and they're like, no, they don't work for us. Uh, it's not a misrepresentation. We're a broadcast on KLBJ. I mean, this is a public place. You're welcome to film. Um, but but there's, not not a, there's, there's not a media representative that'll talk to us? No. It goes on to say, are John Bowne and Darren McBreen on your staff, the DPS contacted, our, D, our DPS contact, and we're also affiliated with your show. Can you shed any light on this? I mean, it's just it's just crazy. The state police are calling our local affiliate because wait, the media is not supposed to ask us questions. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to discuss what's going on. You're supposed to take it. You're supposed to we give you a press release and you read it on air. That's how America works. We don't have a free press in America. I mean, I have some talking points if you want to. Yeah, have some talking points. Um. I think we got those pretty much last time. I mean, they're, they're I, pretty I, much the same. I know the cost of the boats and all that. And, yeah. But we're we're just kind of wondering about joint military exercises, stuff like that. You know, if there's no. any. Uh, I mean, you can ask it. Know. Yeah, there's no joint military exercises plan that I'm aware of. They're spending six hundred thousand dollars on these. Well, six hundred plus. Yeah, for and for uh, a total of six of them. And this is the unveiling of the second one. With machine guns militarizing, <laughs> and they don't like it. It's wrong to sit there and try to violate uh, press freedom in this country. Can you believe calling up our affiliate, trying to imply we're doing something wrong, playing weird legalese games? And by them following us, it, it seemed like intimidation. You know, it was, it was pure intimidation. Well, I mean, he's calling. I know they plan on buying a lot of these uh, unmanned drones. Uh, uh, DPS is not that I'm aware of. The, yeah. st the state is, uh, the state of Texas is not? We're not. Because there's like border patrol with the drones and all that. Border patrol is federal. So. Well, yeah, and, 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 but they're uh, working uh, with the federal agencies. That's what I mean. So it would be like Homeland Security, for example, is federal. Yet they provided a lot of the funding for these boats that are here in the state. Your pizza delivery you know, you know, so, so that's why I was wondering if there's any you know, federal cooperation with these unmanned drones as, as well for Border Patrol and fighting these out-of-control drug wars. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We don't yeah. have drones. Yeah, yeah. What, what, now, whose drones we have access to, I'm not even sure. Rights activists or whatever are also concerned that maybe these boats would be used to, like, pull over somebody to, hey, do you have your fishing license? You know, and you got all these tactical guns on there, and, and, and do you have your fishing license? Is this boat registered? Is there any alcohol on board? You know, that sort of thing. So those are kind of the questions we're going to ask. So. Yeah, these are going to be used in standard border operations and cooperation. All right, let's stop right there. Local, state, and... and Look, if they're going to use these for border operations, that's one thing, but they're... They're basically just trying to stampede the sheep through a bunch of fear to allow the militarization. Just like getting rid of our Bill of Rights was for Al-Qaeda, now they say no, it's for libertarians, conservatives, gun owners. I mean, now police departments are getting Homeland Security blimps. Some of them are like 30 feet long. They're, they're using drones on, quote, cattle thieves in North Dakota. Look, I know what's going on. In every country, the police and military end up taking over. The people let them. We're just trying to keep the police honest. We want our Bill of Rights and Constitution that's been trampled back. Great job to the crew. Listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. Please spread the word. The website's InfoWars.com. And I'll see you back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, on places like Channel 166 on XM. Now get out there and take on the New World Order.